So my shop is an absolute mess. I mean, I've got bikes hanging from the ceiling, CNC's, lasers, and 3D printers, and all kinds of stuff all over the place. But I really want to get this back to where I can actually build things again. So I recently picked up this workbench really so I could get the Glowforge off of the ground but it has lots and lots of drawers. And then right now, I just have these little dividers that I took out of some other toolboxes. And at first I was just gonna put all these in, but they're still not gonna be super custom to this drawer space. But since I actually have a laser, I'm gonna try to actually make some custom dividers to fit this space. Now, normally I would actually do this in Fusion 360, which I actually have a full course on if you guys wanna check out to make really custom dividers. But I'm gonna be making just a bunch of different boxes. So literally just a bunch of these guys out of eighth inch plywood. And there's a really cool site called makercase.com that will let you create a bunch of different designs. So in our case, we're just gonna be making this basic box and then it will let you go in and put in the specific dimensions that you are going to do. So as an example, let's just say we do like a four inch by a three inch by a two inch box. We would do four by three by two. And then you can see you can do the material thickness. We wanna do an open box. And then because this is gonna be on the laser, we're actually gonna do the joints on the box as well. So you can jump in here and hit finger. Then we're gonna go down here to download the plans. Now I'm actually gonna turn off the labels and we're gonna set the kerf. So the actual amount of material that the laser cuts away. So I wind up with a kerf of 0 0.002 inches for the Glowforge when I'm using this plywood. And then from there, we can download the SVG. Now I'm just gonna bring this into Illustrator real quick so you can see what's going on. And so this is gonna be on a 12 inch by 12 inch workpiece, and you can see that we've got these laid out. But I wanna get multiple on one sheet, and I would love to get three if possible. So I actually have three of those different versions laid out now, but you can see they're definitely not arranged. Now you could actually go in right now and arrange everything yourself, but there's actually a free tool that is really easy to use that will do pretty much the same thing. And it's called deepnest.io because we're gonna be nesting all of these shapes together. And then once you open it, you can just import an SVG. And there you can see all of our different shapes are set up, but there's actually quantities on this. So I'm gonna bump all these up to three. And then the last thing you have to do is actually put in the size of the material that you're working with. So we're gonna be using these 12 inch by 12 inch, eight inch plywood panels, I guess you'd call them. So you can just come down here and add one of 12 by 12 and hit add. And so then you'll just check that that is the actual sheet that you wanna use. I'm gonna hit select all and then just come up here and hit start. Now you can actually see right now, I'm only getting 12 of the 15 pieces placed, but it's gonna do an iterative process and slowly add in more. Now we're at 13 of 15. There's also settings in here where you can go in and you can put like a gap between the pieces if you wanna do that. And you can actually see, we started at 12 of 15, now we're up to 14 of 15, but it's looking like we're not gonna be able to get every single piece onto this sheet. So for my version, my boxes are gonna be a little bit smaller, so I should be able to get all of those on there. But once we get the version that we want, we can export it as an SVG, call it box demo. And then you've got your SVG file and then you can send it to the laser. And then depending on whatever laser you're doing, you're gonna load in your material. So for the Glowforge, I'm just gonna hit print and then we'll be good to start it. all of these placed in here. But one thing I'm finding is these are actually kind of hard to pick up if I want to take these pieces out. So it would have been helpful if I made some type of tab or something to put on the top. And I didn't measure completely right, so they're a little bit off. So I did make these guys to kind of make up the gap that I wound up having in the very back. But the big thing I want to use this for is actually for a hardware drawer. And as I'm looking at this, these are actually probably pretty big boxes for the type of hardware I want to get. So what I think I may do is actually go back in and make dividers. So just a little cross divider. So you'd subdivide this, but then also you'd have a better part to actually grip it and pull it out.
So it took me a little while to get the material thickness drilled in. But you can see ugh, this pops in and I probably won't even need to glue it. I can just keep it like this. And these guys, I'll just be able to take and drop directly into one of these boxes. But now if I wanna pull it out, I can actually grab something and then take it, use it wherever I need it, and then drop it back into its spot. Probably gonna do dividers for these first two rows. Then I'm gonna have these three for bigger pieces and then these big two ones here in the very back. So I want to take a quick second to let you know that this video is brought to you by Skillshare. If you guys did not know, Skillshare has tons and tons of classes online where you can learn things from graphic design to illustration to photography and even videography. And maybe you are looking to make videos online and there's actually a lot that can go to it like cameras and microphones and lights and however you look and however you talk to the camera, but there's some great courses online that teach you how to do that. In fact, if you've ever looked at reviews of phones or anything in the tech world, you've probably run across MKHD. Marquez actually has a full course that walks through his full process of scripting, to filming. It's great, especially if you're wanting to make videos online. Now there's actually a promo going on right now where the first thousand people that sign up will get month free. So you can definitely jump in there, take some classes and learn how all this crazy stuff works. All right, let's jump back into the drawer. All right, so I've mostly got this set up and actually wound up putting in some dividers for these guys. So these wind up being like two pieces and then the quads, which are great. But overall, if you have a laser, this is a really easy way that you can organize a drawer and it really doesn't cost a lot of money. I could have 3D printed this, that would take a really long time. I could have made these custom just with traditional woodworking and that would have taken a while too. But by doing lasers and just a little bit of super glue, I was able to completely customize this to what I wanted. And if for whatever reason I decided I just don't like this layout, these are removable and it's easy just to cut some new pieces. This is actually becoming more of like a CNC drawer. So a lot of these are screws and stuff for my CNC's as well as clamps and hold downs and all that kind of stuff. But what's great about this is I have lots more drawers that I can go in and pretty much do the same thing too because this is really nice being able to have a spot where I know, especially my bolts and screws, I know where everything is going to be at. So I really love using this eight inch plywood. In fact, I've done a full video walking through how to make this paint organizer system. This is for like model paints right up there. So we're gonna jump into that right now. Until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.